Hello everybody and welcome to the latest Compete webinar. Today we'll be talking about our new enhanced referral analytics and how it's going to let you spend your, spend your marketing dollars smarter and acquire your customers better. My name is Eric Ostrew. I'm the product manager for Compete.com and my responsibility is to understand uh, what online marketers need and produce the features that will help you uh, in your jobs. So if at any point during this presentation you come up with a question or a suggestion for the product that I'm showing you, please feel free to drop us a line. Uh, the email is support at compete.com and it comes directly into our help desk and it will be shared around and responded uh, appropriately. So what we're going to talk about today is the new and enhanced referral analytics. This is the latest release from compete.com. Uh, compete.com is proud of our, our history of constant innovation. Uh, this is our release for this quarter of the year, and we've put out one release about every 90 days uh, for the past two years uh, running, and we're, we're pretty proud of that. So what are we going to cover today? First, I'm just going to highlight the things that we intended this release to do. What, what can these features do for you? And then because it's, uh, it's easy to get lost in the theoretical jungle, I'm going to walk you through how you might use this if you were a site owner yourself. So let's start with the basics. When we built uh, the features that I'm about to show you, we had two questions uh, uh, in mind that we wanted you to be able to answer. First, uh, what is the traffic acquisition strategy of your competitors? Uh, for a competitive site, is it using search to get traffic? Is it using uh, social? Is it getting traffic uh, by advertising in uh, a whole different category, an industry category like, uh, like news or, or even autos, depending on the, uh, the competitor you're looking at? The second question we wanted you to be able to answer is, uh, uh, how do I use that knowledge of my competitor's traffic acquisition strategy uh, to respond, to better spend my own marketing dollars, uh, and to see more conversions, better conversions, higher sales on my own website? Uh, the features that I'm about to walk you through uh, allow you to not only answer, answer these two questions, but uh, at the end of it, uh, to, to have confidence in the fact uh, that you're taking the, the right actions for you. So let's take a look at, at an example of how we answer uh, these two questions. Uh, I've chosen for the, this particular case study to, uh, uh, my, as my competitor, the, the website crack.com. This is a, a satire website. It's a little bit like The Onion uh, or the old print magazine, Mad Magazine. And I've chosen to assume the persona of holytaco.com. Uh, it's another satire website, but one that, uh, as you'll see, uh, you know, wants to catch up to Cracked, wants to uh, gain some market share there. So as HolyTaco.com, I come in, what's the first thing that I do within Compete? Well, it's not going right to this new referral analytics tool. The very first thing I want to do is get some context. Where do I stand in comparison to my competitor? And you can see uh, Cracked.com not only is larger than I am, uh, it also uh, is growing more quickly. And even in the past month, where I have a little bit of, a, uh, of an increase, Crack.com has an even greater increase. So not only are they beating me in absolute numbers, they're also beating me in growth, and, and they're doing it consistently. So I understand, want to understand how they're doing that and, uh, and how I can change my own strategy to, uh, uh, to catch up with them. Uh, so what I'm going to do, of course, is take a look at my own website. Uh, this is the tr referral analytics report for uh, my own website. And then I'm going to take a look at my competitor's website, uh, which you see here. I'm going to compare the two and figure out uh, what I should be doing differently or where the opportunities are. So let's delve into that in detail. This is uh, part of the traffic composition report for, uh, for Holy Taco, for the site that, uh, that I'm assuming the persona of. You can see uh, just by looking at the size of the squares uh, what channels are contributing the most to my traffic. This is uh, all, of, all of the traffic that's coming into uh, holytaco.com. And I can see that most of it is coming from hobbies, news, uh, and, and the search category. On the other hand, when I go and run the same report on my competitor, something really jumps out at me. A lot of traffic is coming from the uh, social networking category, uh, which was much smaller when I'm looking at my own, uh, my own referral uh, patterns, my own traffic acquisition patterns. If I drill down into that category, so I'm looking at the individual sites that make up the social uh, referrals, I can see that by far the majority of them come from Facebook, uh, and I also see a, a lot of strong growth in Twitter. 
I should say here, when you see a green square, it means that the, the month over month growth uh, is large. And we see a red square, it means that the month over month growth is, uh, is negative. Uh, so it's positive versus negative here. So I see that Facebook is large, but it's also light green. That is, it's not, uh, it's not growing very quickly. This doesn't necessarily give me all the information I need. Uh, I really want to understand what services I should be targeting uh, in any sort of competitive response here. Uh, do I target the services that are growing quickly, or do I target the services that have the, uh, the largest number of referrals, the, the biggest square? Uh, in order to get to the answer to that question, there's a second part of, of this report that we've introduced that uh, allows you to delve into not the share, which is what this visualization does, uh, but the absolute number of, uh, of visits that are referred by any of these sites. So that's this uh, bar graph here. And you can see that uh, the absolute number of visits uh, from personal networking is driven almost exclusively by Facebook. Uh, if I look over here at the right, uh, when you hover over the individual uh, bar, it'll show you the, the number of visits uh, that it represents. So that gives you uh, some validation in the fact that most of their, uh, most of their growth is coming from, from Facebook. And that's something that we want to, uh, to look into. Of course, you can also uh, go beyond these visualizations and go deep uh, into the data. Uh, if you click on, uh, there's a traffic details tab, it'll take you away from the graphs, away from the, uh, the visualizations, and give you the raw data that you can see here uh, in a grid. And you can export that to CSV, put it through whatever uh, analysis you want, or enter it into whatever analytics engine uh, you may have. But for the moment, uh, it looks like we've identified a couple of important things. We've looked uh, and seen that there's a difference in channels between me and my competitor. We understand what, uh, uh, what sites are important within that channel. And, and now we want to apply a little bit of domain expertise. Uh, I'm the owner of a satire site. I want to uh, see if I can figure out what the, uh, what the source of that difference is. There's a lot of different things that, that I could do there, but the most basic is just to look at the different sites. My site is here on the left. Uh, at the bottom of each article, I have a small Facebook uh, icon that's part of a, a general sharing bar uh, that's not very visible. Whereas on the right, my competitor has the share Facebook right underneath the, uh, the marquee image on each article. Uh, in addition to which, they've also got a, a big number there uh, that calls out how many people have shared that on, on Facebook already. So they're already putting uh, a lot more emphasis just in their page layout on, uh, on social sharing. If I'm looking for a, a competitive response, a tactical response, and I've understood the difference in strategy, this is a good place to start. Of course, there's probably a lot more that my competitor is doing to drive that level of social traffic. They may be doing some advertising. They may have uh, embed-friendly pages. There's all sorts of things that I, I want to look at uh, and possibly respond to. Our data gives you the information uh, that you need to do that final evaluation and take uh, tactical action. We help you get uh, the strategy, uh, and, and you, you apply your own do domain expertise in order to uh, in order to take action. So now we've gone through the uh, the entire uh, analysis. I know where my traffic is coming from. I understand uh, where the traffic from my competitor is coming from, uh, and I know the difference between the two and and what that means in terms of opportunities for my own mar marketing strategy. Um, I've used that, uh, that opportunity analysis to figure out some specific actions. And most of all, uh, all of this is data driven. It's based off of, off of a competitor that I know is doing well. And it's all from impartial third party data. I feel pretty good about what I'm doing. And I can uh, not only justify resources up the ladder if I want to take action, I can be pretty confident that, that after I do, uh, things are going to things are going to come out uh, well. That I'm going to have a positive response. So that's it for uh, the the presentation part. I'll be happy to to take questions. Again, if you have uh, questions after the webinar, please feel free to email us at support at compete.com, and we will be happy to respond uh, quickly. So once again, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon.